Hi, this is Teresa from Cup of Tea Quilting. I'm here with block number five for our Lazy Angle series. This is the block here. It is called Folk Art Star. That's kind of hard to say, Folk Art Star. So this is block number five. This block is going to have three different colors, a background color, the star tips color, and then the inner square. And what you are going to need are 16 pieces. And here is the directions. And I will take a picture of that. You can download that. But the first thing you need is an A shape, which is our blue. So this is your trapezoid shape, which is the same as this guy. So that's the trapezoid. You always have a right facing A, and then you're going to need a right B. So as you're lining these up, you're going to flip this over. Not that way. Is this the right one? Oh, that's the wrong one, that's why. But this is your, your shape right here. And when you are lining it up to sew, you're going to have a dog ear. You're gonna have three dog ears. There's one, there's two, and then there's the third one up here. And then using a scant quarter of an inch, you're going to sew your right B to your right A. So that is step one, and you're gonna do that four times. Hello, we are now at step two. So here is your first block. You have four of these. Here's your A, right A, right B. Then what we're gonna do is turn this over because we want this, you're gonna pretend you don't see that. We're gonna flip it over because now we need this to be cut to a left A. So once I put my ruler over here, I'm at a six and a half inch strip, so I go to the six and a half inch, and then I uh, use my cutter, and I shoot, there's, now I have a left B. So you need now fabric two, according to the pattern, and this will become your square on the inside. So you have fabric one, fabric three was your A, and now we're on fabric two. So we're gonna flip that over. We're gonna use this dog ear to line it up perfectly and you'll have a little bit of extra over there. Bring it to my, my new to me 1952 Singer 301. Love this guy, her name is Raven. She sews so steady and when you end, you should end up right at the little valley and I will show you where that is. So when you're doing your seam, if you end up at that little notch, then you know you've done it right. So there's the little notch right there. And then you will press this open. And that is step two. This is your block. You do this four times. Okay, we're now at step three. Step two should have looked like that. Little mountain, two different fabrics on there. So according to the directions, we are going to again add a left B. So in order to get left, we want to turn this over. And I've got numbers on the pattern you can see right here. So your two, which is your inside box square, this right here, that should be up at the top. And then your three, and then your number one, which we are adding another number one. So in order to add a left B, we need to add a left, make this a left A. So again, and your block by now might be getting a little wonky just because of the ironing and all that kind of stuff. And what I do is just use the white dotted line and you can see it's pointed right at that seam. And then I will drop this guy off and then save those extra things. You might need them for a border somewhere. And there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna flip this over. And now I don't have a dog ear, but I'm gonna sew. <coughs> <coughs> Choke it on my salad. That is your block.
<clears throat> as I'm choking. That's your block. So you'll do this four times. And there's half of it. And we're missing one. And there's the other half. 